Hey everyone, it's FTLAK, and today we're going to go over how to change your world gen settings on your Nodecraft server. Let's get started. All right, so you're on your dashboard, and we need to create our new instance. Let's create our new instance. This is going to be Alaska's community world. We're going to detect location. It's going to be a standard world. We're going to create. We're going to deploy our instance. Now, as we're waiting for our server, we're actually going to hop over to Don't Starve. We're going to host a game in the settings that we want to have. We're going to call this Save Community World Gen. We're going to just make it a local only. We're going to go through and actually change our world gen settings to what we would like. So we're going to go No Roads. OK, now that we have that started, we're going to generate the world. Once you've made it to the character selection screen, you're actually good. You can disconnect. Now that we're back, we can see the community world. We can manage. We can open the world folders. We're going to need to come back to this in a minute, but let's actually go back to Node. All right, so our world is up, but it's not on, which is good because we still need to get our cluster token. So we're going to select cluster token. We're going to go over to our clay account. This is where you would have your rewards and all your points. We're actually going to tap the games tab, game servers. We are going to add a new cluster token. And the new name is going to be Alaska Community World. We're going to add that server. We're going to take our token. We're going to paste it into our cluster token. We're going to hit save. This is to ensure that you have a copy of the game on the server that you're playing. Now we're going to go to the game settings. Change the name to Alaska's Community World. We're going to put in a server passcode. This is where you can have your welcome description. You can set the number of players. I'm going to keep mine at eight. That seems to be a good safe number. And then we're going to go to the advanced settings after we hit save. Advanced settings. We're going to enable 64-bit. We're going to hit save. Now, from the game settings, we're going to go up to the file manager. Tap play. Don't start together. My daddy server. Master. And we are actually going to delete. So now there is nothing in the master folder. So we're going to open our folder back up. This was cluster eight for me. We're going to open our master folder. We're going to copy these in. We're going to tap on my daddy server, caves, and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to delete these two. We're going to go from our master back to cluster eight, back to caves, and copy these over. The reason you're deleting the files is it's changing the settings. It's deleting the world gen settings that you had on your basic one, and it's putting in the ones that you had just uploaded. And so it'll actually read the file. So we're going to go back to our master, and we put some mods on. So we're going to go to the mods override, edit. Oh, looks like we haven't put any mods on yet. So now that we have that saved for the master, master and the caves and we have our cluster token in we're going to just start the server we're going to go to the console to make sure that we get to the point where it pauses all right so we can see that the sim is paused which is perfect that means the world should be up go make sure alaska's community world and let's see did our world jed settings get put in view world Yes, they did. Awesome, but we forgot one thing. We forgot to put mods on. So let's go back and add some mods. So there's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can go back into your same community world that you had. You can select the mods that you want. For this one, I'm just gonna keep a couple of mods that I really like, and that's it. Um, You know what? I am gonna do set piece config. I do want the read trap. That's the only one that I really want. So I'm gonna hit apply. Remember that you need to configure these. If you're making changes to them, hit apply. We're gonna resume the world. Awesome. Now that we've gotten back to the screen, it's saved those settings for us. So we're gonna exit out. Let's go back to Node. Let's shut down the server. Make sure that you always shut down the server before you make any changes. We're going to go to File Manager, and now we're going to go to My Dedicated Server. That's Clay. Don't start together. My Dedicated Server. And we're going to go Master. The Mods Override. We're going to click Edit. You can see I don't have any mods in there. So we're going to go back to that file folder for Cluster 8 for our Master. We're going to open our Mods Override. I'm using an app called Notes Plus Plus, and we'll see these are the mods that I had put in with their configurations. Now, the easiest way to do this is Control A, Control C, Copy, and then Paste. We'll hit Save. Click OK. Okay, and we need to do the same thing in the caves. Override, edit, master. I'm actually going to go to the caves one. It's override, control A, copy, paste, save. And remember how I said you want to make sure that you do your configuration? That's what's below here, your configuration options, damage numbers true, so on and so forth. So now that those are saved, we've got the mods in there, but how do we get them to work? I actually copy this page, save, go back to the very start. You need to go down to mods, dedicated mods, server mods. We're going to click edit. This actually gives you a step-by-step -step instructions. You have the option to either set up mods or set up a collection. So I'm just setting up a couple of mods. So I'm going to copy this, paste, and you'll see that I already pasted everything down below. So I just take the workshop number from here, copy, paste. So this one's now in. I know that I have what? One, two, three, four more. Copy, highlight that little area by double clicking and paste. Copy, paste. Once you're done with that, you need to remove all this extra data. Otherwise, you will have an error. You don't need to remove this. You can if you'd like. Um, having those two little dashes before make it null and void, but I'm going to just clean it up. Now I actually copy these. We're going to hit save and then installing mods, making mods and settings. Lua. We need to go to here We're going to click edit. So we want to make sure that this is enabling those mods to download to your server. So I just copied those mods.
mods, you need to use the force enable mod. So I'm going to copy and you're just changing from the setup to force enable mod. Click save. What that's going to do is actually when you click start, it'll force your server to download those mods. So let's actually take a look, give it a shot. Awesome. So you can see right here, it says workshop download publisher file. And it had that random number that I was copying those numbers. If you're on steam, so I'm going to go to global positioning here. This is the mod that I want. I am subscribed this number right up here on your taskbar at the very end, the ID, that's the number that you need. Make sure it's the one that you're subscribed to. There are multiple ones that look different and go back. So now it says the sim is paused. So let's go back to our world, tap here, Alaska's community world. We can actually see the mods, the mods went in, all our other settings are there. So let's go ahead and join the world, test our passcode, select your character and we're good to go. I hope this video helped you with setting up your server. If it did, please don't forget to drop a like and also subscribe. I will see you on Twitch and we'll see you next time. Thanks everybody.